All right, this is a 2022 Nissan Murano. I'm doing a full blackout treatment, so all the trim that's chrome, so around the windows, the rocker panel, the front bumper, the front grill, everything that's chrome, the emblems, that bottom section, handles, all of it are gonna get satin black. All of the areas back here, the tailpipes, emblems, everything's getting satin black. The wheels are gonna get gloss black and I'm gonna paint the brake calipers red. So you can see what everything looks like before. Front and rear brake calipers are silver from the factory but they're going to be red like i mentioned gloss black wheels so base coat clear coat black and then all the trim that's chrome is going to get satin black so let's get her done just wanted to give you a view of what she looks like beforehand uh, in addition to painting the wheels and painting all the trim i am going to do a one-step polish on all the paint as well as uh, my three-year elite master coat light ceramic coating so everything's getting polished ceramic coated and i'm blacking it all out and painting the wheels all right this is the before just wanted to walk around it and give you basically an idea of what it looks like before I work my magic uh, we are doing the this is the first official vehicle I'm doing at the new location infinity custom works 22 Nissan Murano about to get done all right I'll bring you back when I've got more done all right so as you can see I got the wheels off I have the car up on jack stands on our four corners Perfect fit where I can get a vehicle in here this way and I can also pull one in and angle it slightly this way. Uh, this one really could be a little bit more on that side. I got tons of room over here. So I didn't have to move it over that far. I'm really excited about how much space is in here. Even though it's only 500 square foot in this side, it's plenty of room to literally be working on two cars at a time, which is awesome because my studio in here is gonna be dedicated to things that I'm shooting video on, or if I've got time to spend on a big job and that kind of thing, I'll be doing it in here because it'll be air conditioned, but I'm about to start prepping all these calipers for paint. Um, I am most likely going to clean them all up and then paint them all one at a time. I gotta mask, I gotta get everything cleaned and masked first, and then I'll start painting. There's a couple of different paints that I like. Uh, the PR, POR15 paints are pretty awesome. The Duplicolor Caliper paint kit, these are pretty good too. Um, they're a little pricey. The I, I really dig the PRR15. Um, I, I actually, I buy it in every color. There's a couple of yellows, a red, a couple of reds, um, blue, and black. Uh, they also have a silver, which apparently I don't have, but I will buy. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. So I prefer this uh, POR15 stuff because it works really well. And you usually can get two full sets out of a can. The G2 stuff on Amazon is also very good, but I only, I generally only will buy the, the G2 if I'm looking for a special color or a custom color that I can't make with this POR15. This is, the, the price is right for, for the POR15 and it lasts and lasts and lasts. It's very strong. 
good quality caliper paint and I prefer to brush it on as opposed to spraying. In fact, I, I mean, this is, this is the way I've been doing it for years. Um, I do have wheels for my S10 and I will be painting those. Um, I just, I love to paint brake calipers because it really adds a lot of look to the vehicle, especially because I'm going to be painting these wheels gloss black. Uh, the trend, the, the contrast between the red and the black is really going to stand out and really look nice, uh, especially because these calipers in the front are so big. So um, I'm pretty excited about how the final look is going to look, but I'm going to use this POR15 caliper paint because this is what I prefer. You don't have to clear coat it. You don't have to do anything. All I do is I scuff everything up. Uh, and clean it up with generally brake cleaner, but today I'm going to use acetone because I don't have any brake cleaner with me. But I'm going to just sand it all down the best I can, give it a good key, hit it with acetone, clean it up real good, and then literally mask it up and paint this stuff on. So I'll bring you back when I've got a little bit more done. All right, so I got two of the calipers painted. Looks pretty awesome. So those two are done. I don't have time to finish the other two. I wish I did, but I just don't today. So I'm gonna leave it up on jack stands and I'll come back in a couple days. I got all kinds of crap I gotta do tomorrow, but when I come back on Thursday, so today's Tuesday, when I come back on Thursday, first thing I'm gonna do is finish the calipers. So I'll get those two done, and then I'm gonna get these wheels deep cleaned and get them all masked up so that I can scuff them and get them shot. And then I'll start working on pulling this trim and stuff and getting all of that taped up. And I'll do the detail last. So I'm hoping I can get everything done on Thursday. I'm gonna come in early and again, knock the calipers out and then start on these wheels. And then hopefully I'll be able to spend all day on Thursday here to get them all done. So should be done in one more solid day, but that's it. And uh, I'll bring you back whenever I've got more done. All right, I'm not into watching paint dry. And so I have done all of this trim around this window is all wet still. If you'll notice, this is chrome, that's black. So I'll tell you guys in a little bit how I achieved this finish. Again, it is wet this is going to be flat black when it's done the owner and i decided that flat would be better than gloss and uh, it is going to look amazing i gotta get in there with just a little bit of touch up but i'll do that tomorrow no big deal but chrome no chrome Uh, I will most likely, I put three light coats on that. I'll probably do three coats on everything just because the first, I put a light coat on, then a heavier coat, and then a light coat again, and it worked out really well. So that's where we're at. And I'll bring you back before I do anything tomorrow when this is all dry and it looks like it's supposed to, like up in here where it's starting to dry. It'll look great. And then as you know, I still gotta paint those wheels. So that is on the agenda for tomorrow. And for now, I am out of here. So I'll bring you back when we got mold done. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to start painting. Uh, I have everything keyed. I did a test as I showed you before on this particular piece with the Rustolian flat black. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of how it turned out, uh, mainly because I used a roller. In fact, that would be the product of choice if I were gonna spray it on. However, I am gonna use the, I think it's the Duplicolor trim and bumper paint is what I'm gonna use on all this trim 
to take the chrome away and make it a satin black. So I've keyed everything with the red 3M scuff pad and knock down the shine and now I just have to wipe everything down with wax and grease remover and I can start to spray the adhesion promoter and then start layering up the paint. So duplica dupli color trim and bumper paint on all the trim and then the wheels are gonna get the dupli color system as well, the wheel gloss black wheel paint and their 1K clear. I did a bunch of research on it. Um, I believe that the 1K clear, uh, clear from Duplicolor is gonna give me exactly what we need, especially after I called Duplicolor because I have not used their wheel paint. I have done, I've painted many, many, many wheels and I've always had decent luck with it. Um, but I've never used the Duplicolor stuff and I've always been a fan of the Duplicolor paints and all of that. It's very user friendly. Um, and so I'm gonna use their wheel paint on the wheels, which are in here. Excuse the mess, the lack of light, all of that. So anyway, I got the wheels stacked up here. And so on the trim, I'm gonna be using this uh, Duplicolor trim and bumper paint like I mentioned. It's got great um, adhesion properties to all kinds of different substrates. And uh, basically, it's gonna give us the look we want. It has UVA and UVB inhibitors. That's the Fadex technology, so it should look good for a very long time. I am not gonna to top coat that. However, um, I am gonna use this Duplicolor wheel paint like I mentioned before. And this is going this is going to be gloss black, and then I have their 1K gloss clear coat in the truck. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put probably three coats of paint on and two coats of clear on each wheel. So um, I'm going to just keep going. Everything's ready to literally wipe down and then start painting. Uh, I am going to use some uh, some Duplicolor adhesion promoter as well. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get that started right now. So I'll bring you back when I've got more done. But this is the 22 Nissan Murano ready for some paint. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have satin. It looks awesome. I'm super stoked. Um, I used about two and a half cans on all this trim. It really looks awesome. I did, I don't know, maybe five coats. This stuff works awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I have not used it before, but the coverage, the coverage is, leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, be, uh, and, uh, well, Okay, let me explain that. So I put on five coats. The first three coats, it says, do two to three light coats, 10 minutes apart. Um, I did that and this chrome, you could definitely see the chrome through it. So I was like, all right, well, let's put on another coat. So then I put on another coat and I got like four coats in and I ran out of the product, so I had to go to the store, run to the, the good old O'Reilly's is my preference for auto parts stores these days. And uh, I ran down there, picked up another can. It's 13 bucks a can. So I used two and a half cans on all the trim. As you can see, it looks awesome. Nice and satin like the owner wanted it. Pretty happy with how that turned out. And it all should be awesome. I spent a lot of time sanding inside all these emblems. I, I spent lots of time getting in there with the red scuff pads and getting all the edges and all the way back in there. Just stuck it in there and started moving it around and then I cleaned it all up. After everything was taped up and then scuffed, I then wiped everything down with the Prep-All. Good stuff. 
and uh, those blue shop towels. And then I used, uh, I did not use the Duplicolor adhesion promoter because I got a good deal on a case of this Raptor adhesion uh, promoter a while back, well, a couple of years ago. So I wanted to use that up. Um, so I used that adhesion promoter on everything. I did two coats, two light coats like, well, I did a light coat and then I did a medium coat. Um, I had to pull these handles out a little bit and get into the jams of the handles and that kind of thing. So that's all done. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I'm completely happy with it. Look how nice that paint laid down. So I'm going to give it probably 30 more minutes and then I'm going to unmask this thing. Uh, while I was waiting between coats, um, I went ahead and got all the wheels all cleaned up and sanded down. So all the, the face has, has a nice key and I got to get them all taped up and prepped and then wiped down, but I'm probably going to do that in the morning. So it's kind of where we're at now. I'm going to clean up a little bit and then unmask this thing. And then I'll bring you back when I've got it unmasked so you can see everything and see how it looks and that kind of thing. Uh, and then once the wheels are done, I'll throw those on. And then I still have to do the details. So I'm going to be washing, claying, one-step polish. I'm going to focus on a few scratches that he's got here and there. And then after that, I'll be applying Elite Master Coat Light, which is my three-year coating. And uh, this thing should look awesome with the gloss black wheels and all the new satin trim. And then, well, the shiny, nice paint after the coating is applied. I also painted the brake calipers. So that's where we're at now. I'll bring you back in about 30 minutes when I'm pulling all this masking off. All right, I got all the trim touched up and all of that is in good shape, looking good, happy with how it turned out. Now I'm taking care of these wheels. I got one completely done. Obviously I gotta pull the masking off and whatnot. I decided to do these a little bit different way. Uh, I ran out of cards and these weren't sitting in there properly. So I was like, screw that. Uh, went ahead and just taped them up, which looks a lot better anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other ones finished. I got to give those one more prep wipe and then a uh, couple of coats of adhesion promoter and three coats of black and two coats of clear. That's what's going on here. So I'm on it. Hey guys, this is the end of like day four. Um, I did not bite off more than I could chew. However, I did misquote this job. A lot it is a buddy of mine in fact this car belongs to my UPS driver and so they deliver packages to my home and I wanted to give him a great deal he's a great guy and that's exactly what he got he got a good deal on a quality service and that's what I do I'm all about the quality over the quantity so I'd rather do less work and do a better job and charge you more for my time than cheapen out and give you some garbage work that most people do for less money. It is what it is. Uh, but I think my prices are very fair. Uh, I'm going to walk you around this Nissan Murano um, just real quick. It is almost done. I did do a one-step polish and I applied Elite Master Coat Light, that's my three year ceramic coating on all the paint and all the glass on this vehicle. I just got the wheels painted today, so I did not coat them. Uh, I will probably, because I painted all the trim, I don't want them taking it through any car washes or anything. I'm also gonna add some value by most likely telling him to bring it back to me in 30 days for its first wash. I'm gonna tell him just let it get dirty, let it sit in the sun, let that paint bake and harden like it's supposed to, but this thing looks absolutely killer. I'm really excited that I got to do this. Um, I do Plasti Dip pretty regularly. Uh, 
This is not the first car that I've actually painted the trim on. This is the first newer car I've painted the trim on where the trim was very difficult to remove. So I said, screw it. I did it on the car. It came out awesome. Now we just need this, this paint to cure and stay. I uh, should have no problem sticking. Uh, I sanded it really well. And then I applied adhesion promoter uh, because all this trim is clear coated. So I didn't cut into the clear coat. I just basically scuffed it for a key and then I hit it with two coats of adhesion promoter and then waited 20 minutes like the can says and then I put on like five coats of paint. And then after that, I let it cure overnight and I came back here today and I got the wheels painted and I got all the touch up done. So when you pull tape, sometimes you get you miss an edge or this or that. So I made sure I went around to all the edges and I got everything done. Uh, but tomorrow I'm gonna put the wheels on and probably give it a wipe down because it'll get a little dusty overnight, I'm guessing. Uh, and then I may, I, I was thinking about it. I wanted to paint the interior of the Nissan symbols, front and this rear one, uh, in red to match the brake calipers, which let me turn. The brake calipers got all done. You've seen that several times. All the trim looks great. And uh, this front logo is much bigger. I think it would be, it would look really nice if I put the red in there. I just don't know if I'm gonna have time. That's extra. I, I did not tell him I was gonna do that. He did not request it. That's just something I was gonna do. Uh, this front piece right here, this big V-shaped, well, semi V, more U-shaped piece um, was chrome. It looks delightful now. Uh, this strip here was all chrome. It also looks delightful now. Um, this piece here was chrome. All this was chrome all the way around. Door handles were chrome. Uh, and like I mentioned, I got the wheels all painted. They look great. I put three coats of black on them, two, two coats of adhesion promoter, and then waited 20 minutes like the can says, and I put three coats of black on, and then I put two decent coats of clear on. Well, what, the first coat was basically just the tack coat, and then the second coat was a pretty heavy coat, so. Worked out pretty good, very happy with how those turned out. Now I'm gonna let those sit here and cure overnight. Let that thing sit on jack stands. In the morning, like I mentioned, I'm gonna come back. This door broke stupid uh pulley up there uh anyway i don't know what happened it's just broken so i've got to figure that out see i've got a screwdriver in the door to hold it up that door weighs at least 150 pounds such a mother to get it up because that's what takes all the stress off of you um and allows you to pull it up and down easier and that part is broken so i have to fix that tomorrow but i'm going to come in tomorrow Put these wheels on, get it off of jack stands, and then give it a wipe down. And then I may, if I have time, depending on what time he wants to come pick it up, I may go ahead and do those. The only problem is I was also gonna do the wheels because they've got that Nissan, oh, it's upside down, whatever. They've got the center cap. I wanted to do those too because I just feel like it would set it off with the calipers. But I just don't. I just don't think I'll have time. But anyway, that's your update. Basically, the final update. The car is done. I just got to put it back together and get it out of here. Uh, everything is polished and coated. It looks amazing. You can see. Oh, look at that gloss. All right. Well, I'll bring you back tomorrow when we've got more done. All right, boys and girls. It's time to wrap this video up. As you can see, I have pulled the Murano out of the shop. While it was in here, I noticed I've got a couple of uh, spots leaking in the roof. Uh, so I gotta address those, but not today. Today is New Year's Day. I'm here to deliver, well, for the owner of the Murano to pick up the car. And uh, let's do a walk around it real quick. So if you remember what it looked like before, It had a bunch of chrome on it so I blacked out all the chrome 
Um, I did use, just to uh, show you guys what's happening, I used two and a half cans of the trim and bumper paint from Duplicolor. This stuff is really good stuff. It also has extra UVA and UVB inhibitors in it. So I used all that on the trim. I did use some Raptor adhesion promoter because I, I bought a case of it a long time ago. And then uh, to paint the wheels, I did two coats. I did two coats of the Raptor adhesion promoter. Then I did three coats of black, this Duplicolor wheel black, gloss black coating. And then I did two coats of their Duplicolor 1K clear. So these wheels are looking good. Um, I had a little bit of a humidity issue, but overall it came out really good. I don't know what this lady's doing back in here, but... Um, so anyway, there's the wheels. I painted the calipers. Oh, I didn't show you what's going on with that. Um, I did paint the calipers with this. I really like this POR15 caliper paint. It works really, really, really well, and it's really durable. Uh, the only thing that could be better, and that is better with the G2 paint, you can find the G2 paints at Amazon, but what's better about the G2 is that it, they, they turn out with a little bit better gloss than the PR, POR15. You can top coat this. Um, I generally do not because they're glossy enough, but that's the one thing different between the POR15 caliper paint and the G2 caliper paint is that you get a little bit more gloss. I do not notice either one lasts longer or is more durable. They both are incredible, but you get a little bit more gloss with the G2, but you also got to pay a ton more. I think I get these cans on Amazon, these eight ounce cans. I could get probably four sets of calipers out of one can. Um, just depends on what size they are and if I'm doing drums in the back or just the calipers. But anyway, um, I can get at least four sets out of one can and I pay, I think, $17 a can for that. The G2 is like $70 for an eight ounce can. Um, it actually, you utilize more of the paint, so you could probably get three, uh, two, two to three full calipers, uh, full sets of calipers out of the G2. But anyway, G2 is great. This stuff's equally as good, just a little bit less glossy, and it goes farther than the G2, in my opinion. So here's where we're at. I got this trim was all painted. That emblem was painted. So this, this piece here was painted. That lower piece was painted, because that was all chrome. This whole surround trim was painted. That was all chrome. Those handles were all chrome. Those are nice and painted, look great. I even uh, got inside the uh, little jam there. So those are all nice and painted, looking great. Uh, that lower section I painted too. This piece here was chrome, so all that was done. I painted the calipers like I just mentioned. I painted the wheels like I mentioned. Wheels look awesome. I got in the edges really good. All right, going on, moving on to the back. All the emblems were painted. See those look great. This piece was painted. This lower piece was painted. And the exhaust tips were painted. Got a little dust on them. But it looks great. Again, the surround was painted, door handles. Again, got all the jams and stuff. Wheels again. This is uh, universal dressing from the one system, uh, diluted 50-50 on the tires, just so you know what you're looking at. Lower section, handles, surround, calipers and wheels if you don't think that looks awesome you got a problem for sure if 
you guys got questions for me or if you want a full blackout situation done for your ride, just let me know. All right, I'll bring you right back. All right, so the owners are pulling up. I've also done the Elite Master Coat light and a one-step polish on this whole thing. And that's it. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you need any custom work done, Infinity Custom Works can handle it. Check out DetailJuice.com for all your product needs. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.